Tio and that Rockets team when they won back-to-back championships in 1994 and 1995. But first, let me give you this. He was the number two overall pick in the 1970 NBA draft from Michigan. But people who know him never underestimate the heart of a champion. You remember laying that out? That's not how I said it. <laughs> well, say it. Say it for me. Don't ever <laughs> underestimate the heart of a Don't champion. Don't ever. There it is. It was Don't sort ever. of a, a scolding dad to those doubters. Yes. Along the way. Yes, yes. Talk about those great teams. Kenny, Vernon, Dream. First you had Otis in 94, Otis Thorpe in 94. Then you had Clyde in 95. Talk about those teams and, and those great players back in those times. It's uh, it's like baking a, a soup. You know, you, you want it to be good. You just don't want the broth to be good. You want the meat to be good, the potatoes to be good. So putting that all together was, uh, was just a... A dream, and that is a pun, because it all revolved around the dream. And, uh, you know, I'm so fortunate to have gotten a chance to coach, but when you inherit a great uh, player like Dream, and that's where you're starting yeah. from, uh, I was so it was so exciting for this city and for uh, us going through it. You know, uh, it's amazing that it's been that long ago. You're going to be inducted into the Houston Sports Hall of Fame, and I say that shouldn't be the only one. You should also be inducted into the NBA Hall of Fame. Having one back-to-back championship should be pretty much a cinch. But talk about being inducted into the Houston Sports Hall of Fame. I'm sure you take a lot of pride in that. Well, it's a, it's a great honor, and I had the pleasure of uh, introducing Akeem a couple of years ago with that great uh, program they had with the 34s with uh, – Earl Campbell. With Earl Campbell and uh, Nolan Ryan. Nolan Ryan and one more. And pitcher. Dream. Yeah, and dream. Uh, yeah. uh, there was another pitcher too, I thought. Uh, yeah, it was just a great uh, a great event, and now to be a part of it is, is fantastic. And I just want to praise Patty and her team that puts that on. They do a great job. Yeah, she always does a tremendous job. I know a couple of other people are going to go on with you as well. Mary Lou Redden as well as Carl Lewis. They're going in, and Carl Lewis is a guy who uh, ran track for the University of Houston. We know how many medals he won, a whole lot of gold medals. Mary Lou Redden, on the other hand, she won five medals at the 1984 Los Angeles Olympics, becoming the first U.S. woman to win the all-around gold medal. You, on the other hand, when you look at your back-to-back world championships, and I know also know that you coached for the Lakers, what was the most, I guess, the, the greatest time for you as a head coach with the Rockets team? Well, there's so many ups and downs, and that's what it is. But, you know, as that final buzzer goes off, and you say, we're standing here at the end. And, uh, you know, I like to say, if you go through a do-or-die situation, that means if you don't win this game, you're going home. Well, I think we had nine of those in two years, and we survived it. It, it does something to you as a person. You are connected, you're bonded to that, that teammate next to you. And I would I would not bet against the Rockets when it was a back to back game. They just we had a, a knack uh, for pulling it off and that's the heart of the champion. Speaking of pulling it off, big shot Bob, Robert Orr. Talk about him. Well he was uh he was one of my first I think he was my first baby, you know, when I got the uh, job and I have you know, uh, uh, the final decision on who to take. And uh, uh, when I saw Robert, I just thought of all the possibilities. And <laughs> and uh, I had actually had to lie uh, to a guy that I loved. The coach that I replaced, Don Chaney, just love him. And uh, he called me before the draft, and, and he was fishing. He had, had now moved on. He was fishing for a name that the Rockets were going to take, and thank God he uh, he didn't bring up Robert's name until the very end, we're ready to hang up, and he says, uh, what about that guy from Alabama? And I said, Sprewell? No. He says, no, uh, the bigger one, uh, Robert Orr. He said it even different, like he didn't know that. And I said, oh, that guy, he can't play. So <laughs> I just lied to him. Because <laughs> we got to get out of here. Rudy okay. Tom Donovan, you're going into the Houston Sports Hall of Fame. So good to see you. Thank you for all the memories. Got to send it back to you now. Rudy Tom Donovan, thanks for joining us.